right, Algebra 1, Lesson 106. This is on solving literal equations, transforming formulas. Okay, before we begin with all this, for example, let's say we had um, 2 plus x equals 6. Okay, obviously, what's my x answer? Uh, 2 plus what equals 6? 4. 4. So my x would be 4. But how do I do this mathematically? Do you remember me telling you? How do I do this mathematically? 6 minus 2. Yes, I want to get the x by itself. Always, or the n, or the w, or whatever it is. So this plus 2 moves across the equals, and when it does that, plus 2 becomes minus 2. So then we get x equals, and then 6 minus 2 is 4. See how we did that? All right, now, in math, a literal equation is an equation that does not have numbers in it. It just has letters. Okay? So, x plus a equals b. This is where it gets real confusing because look right here. There are no numbers. But they told me to solve for x. Okay? So we're still trying to get x by itself. So even though this equation does not have numbers, we can still solve it. So help me out here. If I'm solving for x, what should my next step be? Uh, move the x. Well, uh, no, no, we're solving for move x. Move the a across. So the plus a mm -hmm. goes across and becomes minus a, right? Mm -hmm. So then x equals b minus a. And that's really, that's where you leave it. You can't do anything else with it because there's no numbers to subtract. They're just trying to teach you how to do it even with letters. All right, how about we do this next one? And then this next one says solve for x as well. And here's what it says. Ax equals b. All right, help me out with this one. What does a next to an x mean? What do two letters next to each other mean? Uh, do you remember? Multiply. Multiply, very good. So I'm gonna rewrite this. A times x equals b, okay? Now, I'm solving for x, so that means I'm trying to get the x by itself. So, this times a does what? Uh, minus a? No, no, what's the opposite of times? Times and something. Divided. Okay, so when we bring it across the equal sign, we are going to divide by a. That gets rid of that. And so then x equals b divided by a. See that? All right, last one and we're done. All right? They tell me to solve for w. Okay? a e equals l w. Now this is actually an area formula. Area equals length times width. So I'm going to go ahead and write this out. a equals length times width. Okay, is that much better if I do an L like that? The L can sometimes look like a 1. Yeah. Okay, so this actually means multiply, right? Mm -hmm. But they're wanting me to solve for W. So, help me out. What needs to happen? Um, I'm answering for W this time. Well, then you bring the times L. Very good. Across. So, I'm trying to get this by itself. So, everything else, the times L, goes across the equal. And instead of being times L, it is... What's the opposite of time? Divided by L. So, W equals A over L. Got that? Mm -hmm. Alright, and that is lesson 105, 106.